Hi, I'm Denzel DeToya. It is currently 12 a.m. and right now I'm outside the Metro, which happens to be owned by Metro Incorporated, which also happens to own Food Basics. Why am I here, you may ask? Well, the answer is simple. This Metro is 24 hours and I'm at the Bathurst and Shepherd location and it's really close to my house, so let's go get some ingredients for my shake. I will be exploring aisle one, the food system, found in the OPIRG's The Supermarket Tour because it provides a different perspective on the activity of grocery shopping, which happens to be systematic. Why is it systematic, you may ask? Well, from the moment you walk in the supermarket, you are being manipulated and you don't even know it. From the design of each aisle, to the placement of each product, to even the music that's playing, it just makes you want to stay longer and therefore buy more. Notice the music that's playing right now. It provides a calming atmosphere that just relaxes you. And it makes you less anxious about the things that you're going to buy, prompting you to buy more. Right when you walk into Metro, you immediately see sale items on display. They are strategically placed here so that they're the first thing that shoppers see when they walk into Metro. At this metro, the produce section is found at the beginning of the supermarket. The reason for this is that these foods are perishable, so the supermarket urges the customers to take them as soon as possible. Also, consumers tend to buy more at the beginning of their trip than at the end. Product placement is extremely crucial for the sale of a brand. Take Honey Nut Cheerios, for example. For the average adult, the eye level is the buy level. This metro is also smart because they have Honey Nut Cheerios at the bottom shelf accommodating for children as well. The aesthetics of an aisle are also important to the manipulation of the consumer as they eat with their eyes as well. As you can see, they are packaged according to color not by brand. For instance, you have Astro, Yoko, Yoko, all together just because they're white. Moving on, we have Oikos, Yoko, based on the fact that they're blue. Activia, because it's green. And you have the colorful ones like red and yellow, targeted for kids. This section of this aisle is a great example of the nag factor, which marketing teams use to attract children to convince their parents that they should buy this product for them. For instance, this bright packaging and these characters found on this packaging invite children. Coming to the end of your shopping trip, the manipulation does not end. Look, we have more sale items strategically placed beside the cashier. Also, you have cheaper little snacks you can easily place into your basket and eat it on the go. And another way they manipulate you into spending more money is their loyalty program, the Air Miles Reward Miles, which rewards you for spending more money. What really surprised me about reading the supermarket tour was the underlying manipulative nature that the grocery store had. It's really surprising to think about every little detail having significance in the manipulative nature. And it's something that's often overlooked and taken for granted. Um, to be honest, I wasn't really expecting much um, going into this aisle of study, but 
after going through it, I started to realize that there's so much going, going on, um, driving con consumer manipulation, designed to appeal to our different senses that we don't really think about, such as sound and sight, rather than taste. Um, I agree with everything that the supermarket tour says um, regarding all the little details that influence our decision making while we're shopping. Everything found in the text uh, applied to the metro that I visited. For the experiment, I didn't realize how much of an impact all of the little details such as the music playing, uh, the placement of the products, or the design of each aisle would have on grocery shopping. But now I'm starting to just realize that these are not things that are trivial and they actually do have an impact on how long we stay and how much we buy. Um, so from this experience I realized that there are much more clever ways to encourage the sale of products. The concept of food uh, the concept of the food system is definitely a manipulative force that is driven by capitalism. Uh, my future shopping experiences will probably be altered in a way that I'll spend less time at the supermarket. Um, by taking into consideration all the different factors that are happening that I wasn't even aware of, I'll be more conscious now and by doing so, I'll be spending less time, which means I'll be spending less money. Um, so that was my experience with uh, the supermarket tour. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Please give me a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next week for uh, the next video. Later.